Hey everyone and welcome to Limitless One. Seven locations, one event, one Limitless family. Isn't it incredible to think that there are young people gathering all over the country in six other locations as well as this one at this very moment coming together to worship God. And so as this night kicks off, I wanted to take a little moment to really explain what Limitless One is all about. I wonder if you've ever found it hard to get on with somebody. Someone who, for whatever reason, you, you just didn't seem to click with. Maybe there was something about them that just really wound you up. And no matter how hard you tried, you just could not connect. You ever been there? Well, I know you've been there because we've all been there. And isn't it true that the people we find it hardest to connect with are usually the ones who are the most different from us? Maybe they come from a different background, they have different interests, they see things from a different perspective, and so it's hard to find a point of connection. Well, the good news is, it's not just you and me. Because wind black the clock a couple of thousand years to the Roman province of Galatia, and we find there a group of Jewish Christians who were experiencing this very same thing. Because this group of Christians were finding their identity more in their Jewishness, in their nationality and ethnicity, than they were in their Christian identity as adopted sons and daughters of God. And, and this meant that they were struggling to be united with the non-Jewish Christians who were coming to faith in Jesus, but weren't adopting and engaging with their Jewish practices. So there's this disunity among them and, and they're not getting on. And so Paul, who was the one who started those churches in the first place, writes them a letter to address that issue. And in that letter, he says these incredible words. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who are baptised into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And guys, this is just so powerful because in this moment where these two groups of Christians who'd come from different backgrounds were not getting along, Paul writes to them to remind them that unity in Christ transcends ethnic, social and sexual boundaries. In other words, your identity is not defined by your nationality or ethnicity, not by your class or social status, not by your paycheck or your qualifications, not by your sex or sexuality. And these are so often the things by which we define ourselves, but they are not the things that define you. Why? Because the foundation of our identity is not about who we are, but whose we are. And we are all one in Christ. That means that among us, the ground is even. There's no hierarchy, there's no better or worse. Nobody is on the top and nobody is on the bottom. Nobody can claim spiritual superiority because as it says in the message paraphrase of this verse, among us, you are all equal. And that's what Limitless One is all about. Whether you're black or white, rich or poor, male or female, here at Limitless, it does not matter because we are all one in Christ. And Limitless One is also about an invitation to those of you in the room right now who don't know Jesus yet. That whatever background you're from, whether your parents are Christians or not, whether your friends are Christians or not, that you too can become children of God through faith because this is a family whose doors are wide open to you. So let me make this thing really clear with my own little paraphrase of those verses from Galatians. Here at Limitless, we're neither African nor American, neither European nor Asian. Here at Limitless, we're neither Scottish nor Welsh, English nor Irish. Here at Limitless, we're neither privileged nor poor, gay nor straight, black nor white. 
because those things are not the things that define us. Because our identity is not about who we are, but whose we are. And we are all one in Christ. And my friends, I can't help but wonder, what could God do through a generation like that? What, what could God do through a generation whose identity wasn't primarily founded in the colour of their skin or the numbers in their bank balance or their class or social status? What could God do through a generation who was united like that? What could God do if we were one like that? Well, I'd have to say the possibilities are limitless.